Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, welcome. My name is Alex and I'm a digital nomad splitting my time mainly between LA and Italy. I post a lot of lifestyle, travel, and thrifting content on my channel. And since I'm spending the fall in this beautiful medieval castle on the outskirts of Bologna, I wanted to show you what my morning routine looks like. My days here are a lot slower and more intentional, which I really enjoy. I find that being surrounded by so much nature and history both grounds me and humbles me. It forces me to think about how I want to spend my time, what I want to carry with me and carry forward through this next season, and what I should let go. I come here every year and as I see the seasons change and I see nature readjust itself, I'm reminded to recenter on the things and the ideas and commitments I made to myself at the beginning of the year. My favorite morning ritual is making coffee every day. In Italy, we make espresso with this mocha coffee pot. There are no machines, no devices beeping at you for attention, just the soft roll of water as it bubbles up to brew the coffee over the flame. While I wait for my coffee, I like to clean and tidy up my space. Having a tidy environment really helps me feel more productive and focused during my workday. Then I like to prep a healthy meal for the day. I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat in the mornings, but I do like to prepare a meal that I'll use to break my fast, which is usually around 2 or 3 p.m. Today, I'm prepping some overnight oats. So I'm using oats, cinnamon, stevia, and almond milk to make the base. And then in about three to four hours when I'm ready to eat, I'll add some fresh toppings like Greek yogurt and seasonal fruit. I tried to limit screens in the first few hours of the morning, but since I am traveling, I do all of my reading on my Kindle. I like to read nonfiction in the morning because I feel like it helps me prep my mind for learning and for growth. I'm currently reading a book called Ask and It Is Given, which is all about manifestation and building a life filled with purpose. Once I start feeling a little bit more awake, I move to my workout. If you'd told me a year ago that today I'd be working out every single day, I would not have believed you at all. Fitness was always a big struggle of mine, but I've managed to build up to making it a daily habit. So if you're interested in learning more about how I did this, leave me a comment down below. One of my goals for this year was to build a strong meditation habit. And though it's not yet where I'd like it to be, I'm trying to be more consistent and I notice a really big change in my mood whenever I do meditate.
So in the mornings, I always try to get outside and enjoy the nature because it helps me get centered for the day and feel more grounded. I've been living in Italy on and off for about four years. And when I visit Italy, I normally stay here in this beautiful town outside of Bologna. And it's a medieval castle, believe it or not. So this is the monastery and these structures date back to 500 AD, which is just mind-blowing, especially for an American that grew up in LA. Like there's just absolutely nothing that can compare to that. Having access to these beautiful grounds and the surrounding nature is so special. So I really try to get outside as much as I can. Not every day is the same, but I try to make sure that I nourish and take care of my mind and my body before I tackle anything work-related. On this day, I saw there was a lot of fresh mint in the garden, so I decided to pick some and make some herbal tea. Then I started to get ready for my workday, so I brought my tea up into my office and started to tidy up the space. Once I have a clean and tidy area to work in, I like to get all my thoughts down onto paper. I love checklists and to-do lists, so I usually make a personal and a work-related list each morning. This particular day, I had some project proposals to work on, and on a personal note, I'm trying to become more financially fit, so I wanted to tackle some of Dave Ramsey's baby steps. If you're interested in following along on my financial fitness journey, give this video a thumbs up so I know you're interested and so we can create a community of financially independent women. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little peek into my morning routine at this beautiful, unique home in Italy. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in following along on more lifestyle and travel content from me. And until next time, ciao!